Okay, guys. So basically, right now I'm super mad because uh, my post notifications on Amber Reed's channel were just didn't work, and I got the notification 27 minutes late. But yeah, I'm actually gonna use my voice on this one, and I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, my friend. friend. How much times have we heard that before, huh? <laughs> like three times. <laughs> Completely. So if you're ever wondering, what is this channel about now? What is Amberlynn doing now? Hmm, I presume it probably means more mukbangs or no more health or weigh-ins. 100% guaranteed. If I get it right, I'll dislike my own video. I'll refer back to this video. I have officially changed my name back to Amberlynn Reed on my YouTube because that is my name. That is what was given to me at birth. That is where I started this channel with. That is me. I am Amberlynn Reed. So if you guys subscribe to me for the train wreck aspect or the mukbangs or the personal info about my health or the consistent and constant weigh-ins, I will no longer be making Oh my god, that's so predictable. I'm so sad. I literally... Oh, it looks like I'll dislike my video, but geez, it's so sad that she's that predictable. I wonder if this time it's going to be the truth or it's just going to make up more lies after that. Let's just wait and see. Making those videos. To rebrand your channel and change the content of your channel is actually a very, very common thing to do on YouTube. And well, she's right on something there. I must agree on her on that. I wanted to change up too, and, you know. And I kind of just feel like it's my turn. I have been stuck in this weird, just like vicious circle. And I. Okay, never mind. I, I, I take back everything I said. This is so stupid. She is the one that started the vicious circles by her lies and deception. Don't flip this on us. I kind of want to get myself out of it because I am done with it all. I am mentally am ready and wanting and willing to feel better. That is what I need in my life. So to do that, I have to say goodbye to the mukbangs and to the constant sit down videos about mental health and physical health. I have to say goodbye to those things. They were being used against me. People were twisting my words and there were a lot of conspiracies. I would rather there be conspiracies about how often does Amberlynn wash her hair versus did Amberlynn lie about cancer. There's a big difference between the two and I no longer want to be a target for fuel of such negativity. Doing I mean, I can't really say she's wrong there, but, uh, she, she, we're not, too, like, people do twist her words, but, like, she could stop, like, why is she blaming everyone for, like, going against her? There's a lot of people that support her, and, uh, I feel like it's a really dumb move saying that, uh, you know, I'm not paying for her Patreon, by the way, like, no, that's a big no. The bombs did give me the most views, and it really did give me the most money, but ultimately, it also made it to where the hate on my channel was a million times worse. There will always be hate on my channel. Um, that's just how it goes. And I'm the one who sees my analytics more than anything. When I am in a happier, healthier place, there will still be hate. And I think the saddest part about it is though, my views go down. When I am more of a, hey, watch me eat, stuff my face, mukbang, I'm gonna put my body in thumbnails looking like a big elephant, those can be the most views. But when I'm here and I'm happy, I am in remission and I just, I'm just so much happier and I'm being so much more productive, I'm getting less views and that's, how my analytics look and that is where i need maybe your content's just bad does that make any sense to draw in a different audience and also keep the audience that are here for the right reasons so i'm going to have an upload schedule i will be uploading three times a week monday wednesday and friday and it's going to be vlogs you know it's just going to be of my life my whole shopping trips just you guys know what my vlogs consist of i want to do so basically the gist of this last part is just amber saying how she's going to revamp her channel how she's going to make new content or uh should I say more entertaining content with vlogs Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday? But honestly, I'm not even sure that's going to be interesting. And she does have a point where she says that people only watch a train wreck because of... I mean, other channels like me just give her more attention. But uh, I must admit, it's kind of smart for once that she's actually using her brain and realizing that people only like seeing someone fail. But honestly, I think this might be the smartest move she's ever done. But honestly, still, people are not going to watch her because she, she just has no personality. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this and like it so for more.